Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Curley, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is The Jeff Crilly Show. Well, as we all know, the most important asset of any company is its employees. And what happens if those employees are hurting? I mean, we're going through a pandemic right now. There is a lot of trouble on the on the horizon. So to join us to talk about that, uh, absolutely brilliant entrepreneur, Derek Lunston. He is the CEO and president of Life Guides. Uh, Derek, thank you for coming on the show. Jeff, thanks for having me. It's great to speak with you. Well, I absolutely love what you have developed. Uh, tell everybody what Life Guides is. Yeah, so Life Guides is a technology platform that's designed to match people for the purpose of healing. So ideally, it's people helping other people who have been through a life challenge of some sort, to be able to share that experience and understand and provide empathy and practical advice and counsel to someone who's going through the same or a very similar experience now. And, and ultimately, our goal is to you know, help a billion people be happier and reduce suffering on the planet. I think it's absolutely brilliant. How did you come up with this idea? So my co-founder and partner, Mark Donahue, actually is, is responsible for the idea, but we were at a, uh, an event a few years ago called Abundance 360 with Dr. Peter Diamandis. And uh, Mark was sitting at the table with Will Bunker, who was the founder of Match.com. And they started talking about this idea of shared life experience and how that was going to be the future of how you know, the sharing economy and, and what we now consider the transformation economy would emerge. And so in that conversation, they started doing some initial market testing uh, with the other members in the group. And uh, I was fortunate to hear the, the idea uh, and I loved it. And uh, I was able to get involved in the organization and the idea very early uh, as an investor and a partner. Well, you have a beautiful video that was on your website that I grabbed and I'd like to share that with the audience right now. That'd be great, thank you. As a human resources leader, you have been entrusted with the foundation of your enterprise's success, the talent, focus, health, and well-being of your people. Impeding the highest aspirations for your team are numerous employee life challenges, which often profoundly impact performance and engagement at every level of work. Until now, your tools have been more limited as you have strived to enhance your culture of caring. We know that you truly want to make a positive difference when an employee's personal life challenges create presenteeism loss. With Life Guides, you now have the ability to offer a service for your employees that is confidential, leaving no fear or hesitation to use. Employees can now get the help they need in the midst of challenges like single parenting, grief and loss of a loved one, or dealing with an aging parent. In the face of these challenges, you can now offer the personalized, confidential support of a guide. Our well-being concierge will match your employee to one of our guides who has experienced their same life challenge. Our guides and concierges will also help to vet useful resources to navigate their journey with greater ease. With Life Guides on your team, together we can enhance employee health, vitality, energy, and well-being. With Life Guides, your employees truly know that you care. Life Guides, navigating life challenges together. Wow, I, I'm so impressed. So walk me through this. Uh, let's say I have an employee and they just uh, lost a parent or maybe they, uh, their parent is showing signs of dementia or something like that. How do they engage the right life guide? Exactly, so there's a few different ways, Jeff. So one is there's a technology again, interface that the user would be able to access. Uh, making go in there, they can fill in the information about the particular challenge that they're experiencing. And then the software will make recommendations for guides and content that will be helpful to support them through that process. In addition, uh, we have concierges as we talked about where we can actually work with them, have a conversation with them and pair them specifically with the right guide 
to help them with that particular topic that you highlighted. So we're, we recognize that different people have different uh, methods for how they have to communicate, as well as different needs and different personalities. Both the software and the human beings we have in our team, you know, optimize for that connection. Wow, I, I, I just uh, I keep saying brilliant, but honestly, it's one of those things where I wish I had thought of it. How? how um, tell me a success story. One, one of the ones that where you say to yourself, "Wow, I can't believe we were able to solve that problem." Because I mean, can you come up with a life guide for every imaginable problem? Well, so I think that's that is the case. So that's part of the idea is that you know, life experience is the most common or the most underaccessed asset on the planet, and that our life experience is what makes us uniquely human. And so, yes, that by using technology to match people more effectively, we can categorize hundreds, if not thousands of unique life challenges and bring people together in a more meaningful way. Um, and as we continue to bring up organizations, new corporate customers, they want to gift this to their people, uh, we'll see more variability, more unique challenges arise. And then from this population, again, we believe that we can hire a million plus guides over the next 15 years, we can get more specific in connecting the dots between those relationships, between those needs. That's wonderful. Tell me about the pandemic and did it impact your business? Uh, did, did, the, did the volume of, uh, yeah. of contact go up? Yes, it's definitely been accelerating. As you can imagine, we've had to respond quickly to the fact that there's, there's either new challenges or people are more aware because of the shared experience of how these challenges are affecting their lives. And, you know, things like working from home, educating their children now that schools are closed, uh, adapting their routines, caring from loved ones from afar, you know, the whole concept of quarantine. We've had to spin up topics specific to these areas and train guides to be able to respond to that. We've been able to do that effectively. And in addition, I think this is just the springboard for what the next couple of years will bring in terms of people really waking up, so to speak, to how their emotional well-being, their mental health, their, their physical stresses are affecting them holistically. And we can then now offer this as a service to help people through those challenges and to ultimately do a happier, healthier society. How and using business as a whole to, to offer that. Yeah. Yeah. How, how do you go about finding your guides? Uh, that has to be a fascinating process as well. Yeah, so in the early stages of when we spin up a challenge, what we'll do is we'll target both virtual and, and in the past brick and mortar organizations and groups where people would congregate. So I used the example of caregiving for we would target we would target caregiving groups, for example, on social media. We would then make them aware of what Life Guides is and the opportunity to be a guide. And then what happens is we bring those guides in, we screen them, we train them, and we help them translate their own experience into a facilitated conversation and guiding someone else. And you can imagine more and more people experience the guide conversation and experience the feeling of being better or feeling better. They start to share that experience with their friends and family. And really what we're doing is facilitating what already happens is that some people can be guides in certain areas and they'd be clients and members of another topic. And we're really just facilitating the circular economy that already exists, but using a technology to optimize that experience. I think it's wonderful. I, I imagine finding people who are uh, good listeners, people who are empathetic, uh, non-judgmental. I mean, that's got to be probably one of the factors, some of the factors that you look at. Those are key criteria, Jeff, for the people that we find as our early guides. And those are also skills that we will be offering to teach to people as they join the guide community. Right? So the, the, the shared experience, the shared circumstances is an important part. Then being able to you know, relate to that person and offer them a voice and an ear to your point of understanding, understanding what they're going through, what they're experiencing, what they're feeling, and then be able to be a sounding board as well as a resource to help give them some support practically is what the Life Guides experience is all about, what that magic moment really is. And I, I guess from a CB, CEO's standpoint, this becomes a no-brainer. I mean, if your if your employees are healthy and happy, uh, they they're they're not leaving the company, they're not going into a downward spiral. I mean, this really uh, just becomes a layup for the CEO, doesn't it? I completely agree, I, and I think literally from your mouth to God's ears, Jeff, I, I think that it, it really does, it's, a, it's a, almost a moral responsibility to take care of our people. And we, and we now more than ever with this pandemic, we see that what happens at work affects people at home, and what happens at home affects people at work. And those factors are now gonna be more intertwined than ever before. And it's, it's a responsibility of leaders to make sure that their people are well cared for, well, and provided resources to address the circumstances that affect them in their lives. And I think that uh, it's absolutely both a human right thing to do and the benefit to people's businesses in terms of a more productive workforce, 
uh, a happier workforce, creating a better customer experience, and doing all the things that you mentioned around you know, attracting and retaining great talent, those are just secondary benefits to doing the right thing. Wow, I, I applaud you. You are you are healing. You are uh, saving lives. And uh, thank you so much for being on the show. We're gonna we're gonna put your website up. Lifeguides.com is the uh, website. Uh, please reach out and uh, and plug in. Uh, Derek, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you, Jeff. You bet. And that's it for now. We'll see you next time.